ad hoc committee of the House of Representatives has accused the Attorney General of the Federation, Al Bakr Malami, as well as the Interpol, of interfering in the committee's parliamentary investigation. The committee, which is investigating the nation's stolen crude from 2014 till date, questioned why a whistleblower would be invited by the Interpol on the request of the Ministry of Justice just after the commencement of the investigation of the House. The committee is investigating a whistleblower allegation of illegal sale of 48 million barrels of Nigerians' Bonnie Light crude in China in 2015, valued at $2.4 billion. However, the head of the National Central Bureau of Interpol Nigeria, Gariba Umar, said the bureau only acted on the request of the AGF. The chairman of the committee, Honorable Mark Gilbert, decried the alleged harassment and pursuits of whistleblowers who exposed the alleged illegal oil sales by operatives of the Nigerian Police Force and Interpol, asking why the ministry, the DPP and the security agencies decided to reopen the abandoned case after the lawmakers commenced their investigation. However, the head of the National Central Bureau of Interpol, Nigeria, Garba Umar, asked the committee to forward its inquiries to the Justice Ministry and the DPP. When those individuals, those whistleblowers approached the committee, we found out that a few, a week or more afterwards, your department, the NCB of the Interpol, wrote to two of those individuals, which we do not consider to be a coincidence, because months before now, the Interpol did not write to these people. Why is it that it is when they approach this committee to give them evidence about what happened that the Interpol suddenly started inviting them. Now, please note, we are very careful as custodians of the law to always indicate that what we're talking about are allegations. Everybody's right in sections 35 and 36 of the Constitution of innocence until proven guilty or otherwise is sacrosanct, including those whistleblowers, including you yourself, sir, including every Nigerian citizen, and of course, even other citizens of other countries in Nigeria, because it is a global norm that you should respect that somebody is innocent until proven guilty, and of course, your constitutional right for fair hearing. Now, these whistleblowers, one of whom was supposed to be here, but I believe if it doesn't come on time, we'll still schedule another date where they'll be also be here with us because they're quite th afraid for themselves. They allege that prior to the committee's commencement of this investigation, they were intimidated and forced under duress by somebody who was also investigated, sorry, invited by this committee to appear before this committee. I saw in your response you made a reference to him as being retired. Um, yes, a certain DIG, Michael Obizi. He was then the head, I believe you will confirm that or not, of the Force Criminal Investigation Department. So they said that they were invited by him. They say they have evidence, recorded evidence of one of the staff of that department saying that they had concluded their report against them before they even invited them. Directed to me by the office of the Director of Public Prosecution of the Federation and Office of the Attorney General of the Federation. And he said, three, complaint of criminal intimidation and threat to life comes conspiracy using forged document to gain access. So, so, so under this. And in this letter, they said the suspect in questions have asconded after granting bail. And they requested in view of the above, I am requesting you to trace, locate, the underlisted individual are revert to this office for purpose of their arrest and arraignment in court. This is a letter we received from the office of the Attorney General of the Federation.
So it is a request like any other law enforcement agencies, Mr. Chairman. Once a request is made, we are not investigating, we are not charging, but our letter has to carry invitation, and that is normal. And as you said, sir, I want to further explain to you, the National Central Bureau are police officers saddled with the responsibility of protection of detection, pro uh, protection, investigation of crime. And that's what I say, it does not exclude the members of the NCB. However, when you come to issue of Interpol, which is the NCB, their responsibility is to assist law enforcement agencies to link up with all the 195 member countries on criminal matters, Mr. Chairman. Directed to me by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution of the Federation and Office of the Attorney General of the Federation. And he said, Re, complaint of criminal intimidation and threat to life comes conspiracy using forged document to gain access. So, 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 under this. And in this letter, they said the suspect in questions have asconded after granting bail. And they requested, in view of the above, I am requesting you to trace, locate the underlisted individual and revert to this office for purpose of their arrest and arraignment in court. This is a letter we received from the office of the Attorney General of the Federation. So it is a request like any other law enforcement agencies, Mr. Chairman. Once a request is made, we are not investigating, we are not charging, but our letter has to carry invitation, and that is normal. And as you said, sir, I want to further explain to you, the National Central Bureau are police officers saddled with the responsibility of protection of detection, pro uh, protection, investigation of crime. And that's what I say, it does not exclude the members of the NCB. However, when you come to issue of Interpol, which is the NCB, their responsibility is to assist law enforcement agencies to link up with all the 195 member countries on criminal matters, Mr. Chairman. Meanwhile, Gilba in his ruling asked Malemi and the DPP to furnish the committee with details of the matter. He also asked the committee clerk to do a letter to the Director of Public Prosecution of the Federation and the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation to furnish this committee with a detailed report of the investigation of the allegation against these individuals as it was done by DIG Michael Ogwizi or any other department of the police. <music>